Ladies and gentlemen, the 16th President of the United States. Uh, my name is uh, Abraham Lincoln, and I am visiting Bailey's Crossroads to review the troops of Mr. George B. McClellan, my general in charge of the Army of the newly formed Army of the Potomac. Well, you know, 1861 had been pretty much a down year. We had seen defeats at Bull Run. We had seen the crowded Confederate Army move closer to Washington City. I could stand on the roof of the executive mansion and look six miles out to Munson Hill and see the Confederate flag flying there. So when things began to change a little bit and McClellan wanted this review, I thought it would stimulate interest in the Army of the Potomac. I thought it was a, a morale builder. I certainly wanted to be here to watch this grand review, the greatest number of troops that had ever been put together on American soil. It was the single largest assemblage of U.S. military in the United States. It was huge. The fact that they could pull off this march in Confederate territory uh, must have been a great morale boost to them. He wanted to bring them all together so they could see and feel their strength. And what better place to do it than Bailey's Crossroads in the fall of 61 on a 200 acre plateau where they could sense becoming an army. Abraham Lincoln, the man who preserved the Union and who is probably the most idealized American in the world, was actually here. And that from this grand review, came the immortal lines of Julia Ward's How Battle Hymn of the Republic, which has become an immortal song for the United States of America, known around the world, and in effect is our second national anthem, if you will. What a gift to be in a neighborhood that had all this history, and it's not really known. Three years ago, a small group of local citizens formed the Lincoln at the Crossroads Alliance to commemorate the 150th anniversary of Lincoln's Grand Review at Bailey's Crossroads. I think what's happened with the Bailey's Crossroads area is that the citizens who live here uh, want to celebrate their past and they want to build a better future. And they're not waiting for anybody else to do that for them, they're doing it for themselves. And that's commendable. The motivation to put this uh, alliance together was m my husband's interest in bringing the history back to Bailey's Crossroads. He died suddenly, so I decided to create this entity in his memory. Maria has taken up the torch and the light, and she has gone forth very bravely and very brilliantly to organize a lot of us who are specialists in various fields to come together and work together as the LACRA team. The Lincoln at the Crossroads Alliance is going to bring a lot of attention to Bailey's Crossroads, and that attention is going to uh, create a, a lot of activity and a lot of interest among the citizens who live here. I think it's going to be incredibly important for those new members of our community, the diverse community that didn't grow up with American history. This is going to be fascinating to them. Planning and putting together this commemoration is no easy feat. From road closures to getting the word out, the Alliance tirelessly is bringing together countless civic organizations, reenactors, government agencies, and the military. Reviews remain a very important tradition and a very important part of the Army institution and the tradition. It's a great opportunity for the soldier to showcase himself and his abilities and for the commander to assess that in his functions. So other than a uniform change, really, and a difference in the type of uniform and the type of instruments that might be played in the band, the review is very similar to the way it was in the past. We're, we're moving ahead with our piece of this puzzle, which is our conference, our concert, our photography exhibits involving almost all of our faculty in some way or another in making this happen. We've uh, extended the use of our campus as a staging ground for the troops to begin organizing themselves. Uh, we have a, a large field on the lower campus that we'll devote to that and a, a large parking lot. We're engaged and involved and, and happy to be a part of this. The efforts of the Alliance go beyond a one-time ceremony. Their intention is to link the past into the future revitalization of Bailey's Crossroads. It's wonderful to have the recreation of the Grand Review, but the permanent lasting factor will be the monument of Mr. Lincoln on Route 7, 
so that people will always remember that the Grand Review actually did take place here. It's going to be quite elaborate. Uh, I'm going to try to create the feeling uh, that there are a lot of troops uh, marching by um, that Abraham Lincoln is standing there um, uh, looking at. And, and I think the combination of the bar relief um, with the, uh, the troops marching by with Lincoln kind of separate from it and viewing these troops is what's going to make this monument kind of different and, and special from, from many of the uh, other uh, monuments. It's one thing, I think, to have it in the textbook. It is another thing to go and see it visually, to absorb and to read what happened there and to let it come into to your mind better. So if you can walk the ground where something transpired, uh, I, I think it has a, a lasting impact on one's memory. This whole project with uh, bringing in and putting up road signs, putting up Civil War markers, uh, I think will help keep history alive what Abraham Lincoln said during his lifetime is so very true. I like to see a man proud of the place in which he lives. I like to see a man so live that his place will be proud of him. So consequently, what better way to encapsulate a civic mindedness and a new spirit of a new Bailey's Crossroads for the new 21st century? If Lincoln were able to come back and visit in 2011, stand on that same spot, and see the changes that have taken place in our society and to be aware that, that after 150 years and all the terrible things that we've had to go through to get to this point that we finally made it and that by this time we actually have an African-American president, my guess is Lincoln would be pleased. Bringing history alive and creating a sense of place is the mission at the Lincoln at the Crossroads Alliance. You are invited and most welcome to join and take part in making history. We are looking for everybody to become part of this effort and some people can do it volunteering and other people can do it by sending donations to our, our organization. Today people can get involved very easily because everything is online. You can find out everything there is to find out about the Alliance and about the, the commemoration and about how to contribute. It couldn't be easier these days.